Patients with aortic incompetence frequently present without symptoms because of its long asymptomatic phase unless the lesion is serious or develops acutely. The white pulse pressure, the early diastolic murmur that radiates towards the apex, often accompanied by an action systolic murmur, and the mid-diastolic murmur at the apex caused by flattering of the anterior mitral leaflet are the classical physical signs of aortic valve regurgitation. The chest X-ray shows left ventricular uh, enlargement with or without enlargement of the ascending aorta. The electrocardiographic change depends on the severity and duration of aortic regurgitation. Serial two-dimensional and color Doppler echocardiography are often sufficient to define the degree of regurgitation and the left ventricular cavity dimensions. However, the optimal timing for surgery is not clearly defined. Indications for operation and interventions uh, Symptomatic neonates and infants with critical aortic stenosis need urgent treatment. They often need resuscitation and intensive care management, including uh, mechanical ventilation, correction of the metabolic acidosis, and uh, inotropic support. An infusion of prostaglandin to maintain the potency of the ductus arteriosus uh, often improves the circulation. Also, critical aortic stenosis in the neonates is still often managed surgically in some centers. Balloon dilatation of the aortic valve in the catheterization laboratory is currently the standard method of, method of treatment. However, one should be aware of the occasional risk of damage uh, to the aortic and mitral valves with the interventional approach, which may lead to emergency surgery. More babies are now born with a borderline left ventricle. It is often difficult to determine whether the uh, small or borderline left ventricle is adequate to sustain the systemic circulation without a patent ductus arteriosus. Even more difficult is to determine whether B ventricle repair is feasible. Echocardiographic in indices have been proposed for surgical decision, such as aortic and uh, mitral valve under dimensions, index left ventricle outflow and uh, inflow dimensions, the ratio between the left ventricle, right ventricle, apex to base dimensions, left ventricle long axis, heart total long axis, AV valve and those apex ratio, and left ventricle and diastolic volume. Rhodes et al. developed a multivariate uh, equation using echo me measurements to produce a score that allows uh, prediction of mortality after biventricular repair for critical aortic stenosis. However, the score should be used with caution and often anatomical variables such as the left ventricle mass, presence of endocardial fibroelastosis and non-apex forming left ventricle should also be considered. Kovalchin et al. found that retrograde flow uh, through the transverse arch was associated with higher risk after biventricular repair. Uh, CHSS has become up with the idea of a calculator based on a multi-institutional uh, study of management outcomes and risk factors of a large group of neonates with critical aortic stenosis to stratify these complex patients to single ventricle to ventricle repair. We have recently recognized the uh, persistence of pulmonary hypertension due to the restriction of left ventricle filling despite an uh, apparently successful bidirectional repair. Nevertheless, the surgical option, Norwood, neonatal ROS uh, plus uh, left ventricle endocardial fibroelastosis resection or cardiac transplantation are difficult in this group of patients. Longer term follow-up data are essential to decide whether it is uh, prefer preferential to have a good single ventricle repair or a biventricle repair with possible subsequent reoperations. Conversely, it may be a disadvantage to have a borderline hypertensive left ventricle contributing to an uh, inefficient function of the neosystemic right ventricle. In childhood, the indications for aortic uh, valvotomy are uh, echocardiographic change at rest or after moderate exercise, even in the asymptomatic patient, a resting peak systolic gradient greater than uh, 6 mm mercury, and symptoms related to valve stenosis. 
and Barrett boys. Uh, the increasing uh, exercise with uh, Arctic banana angiopasty is bound to lower the uh, threshold uh, for the indications for treatment of aortic valve stenosis. Ideally, it should be dealt with before the left ventricle develops irreversible myocardial change. However, it is also important to keep in mind that premature uh, valvuloplasty or valvotomy on the mildly to moderate the stenotic aortic valve may result in an uh, important regurgitation. The indications uh, for surgical relief of discrete subvalvar stenosis are reasonable when well defined. Because of the progressive nature of this uh, malformation, it has been suggested that surgery is indicated even uh, with gradients as small as uh, 20 mm mercury. Serial echocardiography data with increasing gradient and the detection of aortic regurgitation would be our indications for surgery. Supravalvar aortic uh, stenosis is usually a progressive lesion with an increase in left ventricle output tract pressure gradient related to pro growth of the ascending aorta. Hence, early surgical uh, intervention is indicated. A symptomatic patient with aortic valve incompetence uh, presents a difficult problem. When left ventricle enlargement reaches a certain point, the secondary cardiomyopathy may not be completely reversible. It has been suggested that surgery is indicated even in asymptomatic patients when the cardiothoracic ratio exceeds 55%. Our data would also suggest that recovery of left ventricle function is less likely when the Z-score of the left ventricle and diastolic dimensions has reached uh, the value of 4. Therefore, early intervention is recommended. Surgical techniques Valvotomy in neonates and infants. Valvotomy in neonates and small infants performed as a closed uh, transventricular aortic procedure or as, a, as an open procedure under inflow occlu uh, occlusion is outdated because of the risk of refractory ventricular fibrillation or inadequate ventricular performance at the completion of the valvotomy. Open valvotomy with cardiopulmonary bypass. The use of uh, cardiopulmonary bypass to perform an aortic valvotomy in neonates and young infants provides more time to examine and repair the valve. The surgical technique is essentially similar to that described for older patients. The ductus arteriosus is always ligated. In the neonat, the aortic valve is sometimes made of immature tissue with no commissural structures, in which uh, case the valve orifice is simply enlarged. Valvotomy in childhood. The heart is exposed uh, through a midline incision. A purse string uh, suture is uh, placed at the base of the atrial appendage for the venous cannulation. This suture can be used as a traction to facilitate the dissection and the exposure of the aortic growth. The patient is heparinized. Uh, the aortic cannula is introduced near the innominate artery and the single venous cannula is placed in the right atrium. The operation is performed uh, under mild hypothermy. The aorta is cross-clamped and the cold cardioplegic solution is infused. An oblique uh, incision is made from the anterior aspect of the aorta downward and to the right to enter the non-coronary sinus of valsalva posterior to the commissure between the right and non-coronary commissure cusps. Stage sutures are applied to the edge of the aortotomy for exposure. The aortic valve is carefully examined. Most commonly, the valve is bicuspid with an uh, eccentric orifice situated between the right and the non-coronary cusps. In about half of cases, a rough um, of varying height is present. In equational patients, it is high enough to sim uh, stim simulate a true secondary fused commissure. These rafts don't extend to the free edge of the valve and don't provide lateral support for it. These rudimentary third uh, commissures uh, should not be inc incised uh, because this would produce incompetence. The fused commissures are carefully divided with a knife to within 1 or 2 mm of the aortic wall. Cast mobility and the effective orifice area can be f further improved by sinering uh, out areas of lifted thickening and uh, myxomatose nodules. Uh, 